Hello, hello, Jojo Cross is here. I'm starting a new island, guys. Oh, they're always so cute in the beginning, I love it. Okay, this island is going to be my 30 day challenge. So I'm gonna do my island in real life 30 days. And I have a few rules. Um, so I must have completed the island in 30 real life days. Completed means that most of the island, if not all of the island, is either decorated or terraformed or it looks pretty, you know, it looks good. Um, and I'm going to try to include the beaches, but if I don't get the beaches entirely, I'm not going to knock myself down for that. But the rest of the island for sure. I'm allowed to time travel because I would die if I couldn't. Um, all buildings must be upgraded, so got to have the museum upgraded. Nook's has Nook's cranny has to be to its second version. Um, resident services and the museum, like all of those. And then um, I must change my outfit every day once we have Able Sisters, and it has to be whatever is in Able Sisters. I can't change my outfit to something like that's already in my inventory um so i saw someone else do that it was melissa verse and it was hilarious and so every day i will be wearing some funky outfit i'm sure but i think that will add a little um hilariousness to it and that has to include a hat a shirt pants and shoes um whatever else you know i can add is fine but uh, I cannot use any online services or DLC, so no custom codes. Everything has to be in-game, kind of like back in the olden days. So it's kind of a Norma Core island. And I have to have 10 villagers that I like. So those are the six rules, okay? So let's see if we can uh, get ourselves a good island. Um, so in the beginning here, I'm, I'm just going to kind of go through these things. So they want my information, so I'm I'm going to definitely be JoJo, capital JoJo, you know. All right. Oh, gosh. All right. Yes. And then I'm going to use my real birthday. July 29th. All right. There I am. Yay. Okay, and then I'm going to create my my little girl. All right. There we go. And then um, here's the part where I'm a little nervous about, but I'm not going to be too picky about my island because I can terraform. Um, I'm leaning towards this one. I like this one. This one's also good. It has a good chunk of land down below on both of those. Actually, I got four decent islands. So this one is like a... Uh, I don't know. I don't know which one to do. I think I'm going to do... Let me look at my peninsulas. Let's see, that's a little peninsula, top left. Okay, they all have about the same size peninsulas. Um, where's my dock? Let's see, I have a longer dock on this one. Or this one. Hmm, I'm torn, you guys, I'm torn. This one has a little extra pond. Well, not extra, but a little pond up in the top right. I don't think I've ever been on this one before. I'm going to go this one. And I don't really care what the airport color is at this point. Um, I'm going to bring food with me. <laughs> All right, let me do this again. Okay, here's my next choice of islands. Almost all of these are good. Um, this one's a little close. Um, of all of these, 
I probably like this one on the left top corner the best. Um, so let me, it's either this one or the top right, maybe it's too close. So let me try this one, okay? Okay, <laughs> what do I got? I got peaches this time, okay? It's like my third favorite fruit. I like apples, then oranges, then peaches, but not IRL, just, oh, I got a blue one. Okay, okay, I can handle these villagers. <laughs> All right, let me just check out the island a little bit. I put myself in August. Um, let me talk to these guys. Pashmina. And we got Hamlet. <laughs> Hamlet's cute. I like Hamlet and Pashmina. All right, those could be keepers. Okay, they're going to be hard to make sure they're... All right, let me go look really quick. I want to see what my flowers are because that's also going to be something something else. Let's see. I can't see. Oh, they're lilies. Mm, not my favorite, but I can do it. Um, I just didn't want to have pansies. I don't really love the pansies. Okay, let's go, buddy. All right. Yes. Pashmina. Hamlet. Jojo. Yay. Okay, we're all here. All right. All right, so he's going to have us, um, it's our first day, yeah, first things first, we need to grab our tent and grab a spot, I'm actually going to try to pick a spot that I want, I like, I like Tommy with the flag, we're going to go with Tommy, <laughs> all right, so let me see what I'm going to pick. Um, I want to look at the map a little bit and just see because I'm going to try to go for a little bit of convenience, but also give myself a good spot to go to. So um, let me see the map. Maybe right here would be a good spot for me. Yep. I'm going to just pick it. All right, got mine in. Now let's go check on Pashmina. And she was over here somewhere, right? Wait. <laughs> she went away. Hi, Hamlet. Aw, he's actually kind of cute. I'll find you a spot, buddy. Yeah, he's pretty adorable. I'd say I'm not a huge fan of the, of, of the little... Um, I guess I'm probably going to have to end up moving them anyway. You know what? We're just doing a beach. So we'll put Hamlet down here and I'll probably put Pashmina right next to him. There we go. All right, Hamlet. Does he get the, oh, he gets the orange one. Okay. Let's find a spot for Pashmina now. I'll find you a spot, lady. All right. How close can I get to Hamlet here? Oh, I can do it right there. So this is the spot. Okay. Then we're going to head back up to see Nook. And he's going to give us our instructions for gathering some supplies. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, and then he's gonna investigate these peach-like items on the <laughs> on the land. All right, so I'm gonna go just grab as many sticks as I can, and I'm also going to um. I'm going to grab some peaches or whatnot. There you go, buddy. All 
right, and then I'm gonna give him my peaches. He's gonna say, whoa, because I'm a hard worker. I am. <laughs> yeah, I already have your peaches, dude, because I think ahead, and I saw them, and I decided to grab them, and I haven't done this like 50 times already before. <laughs> All right, so here comes our little bonfire. We're gonna have a toast, and this is where we're gonna name our island. Oh. Cute. I always like that little ceremonial moment. All right, so now he's gonna want a name, and I'm just gonna do a very simple name, um, kind of a tribute to my very favorite villagers. All right, so we're gonna name this island. I'm sure you've never heard of this name before. <laughs> I think a lot of people probably use this for little fall islands and stuff, but I love the... I love the idea of acorn. It's um, it's cute, and it resembles the squirrels, you know, and their little acorns. So, and Buffburg and Catarboro, you know, why would I not want one of those? But he's not even gonna let us vote for those because they already overwhelmingly love mine. So, you know. <laughs> Uh, Ab, absolutely. Hamlet, you're just such a card. Oh my. Okay. I'm going to say a word or two. Yep. Okay, well now I'm the resident representative. I have a lot of responsibility, don't I? All right, cheers. Cheers to a new island. This will probably be the most difficult island I've ever done since the first time I ever played. Get him playing the tambourine. <laughs> He's so cute. Hi, Pashmina. I've never had her on my island, but she's very, like, elegant looking, I'd say, for a goat. But I'm going to go in and go take a nap so that I can, um wake up to the next day and get my bill and start just hammering away so yeah because I'm gonna have to have some grueling workouts here and that is gonna be what the rest of this day is gonna be spent doing is <laughs> grinding for bells and grinding for uh, miles because let's see what colors I got here Okay, I got a white radio, and I got a red lantern. Those are good starts. All right. Um, let's push that over a little bit. Perf. Okay, and then I'm going to put my cot here. And then let... Ooh, good color cot, too. Look at me go. I'm going to have to use all this stuff, so... <laughs> I have to like it. Because I can't really do anything else. I could, if I get a lot of bells or something along the way, I can go to Harv's and have Cyrus uh, customize some things because that's part of regular island stuff. But, you know, I don't really want to have to spend 100000 just to get him in there. So we'll see. Okay, my girl's going to be rudely awoken by Nook, buddy. All right. Let's head on out and see what he has for me in store today. Yep, pleasant nap. All right, he's going to give me my Nook phone. Thanks, buddy. I forget how long-winded this is in the beginning always, and then I do it again and again, and I'm like, oh. I usually really skip through most of this, so, you know, I don't have to... Uh, bells? 
What are bells? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm being serious. I don't have bells. I've never used bells. I use dollars. Okay. And now you've introduced me to two forms of payment all in one conversation. All right. Yeah, bottom line is I can't pay that. So I'm going to have to earn bells. I mean, miles. Yeah. Okay. So now he's going to release me. And um, I'm starting my new life. There we go. All right. I'm going to... This tree is going to bother me here, by the way. Okay. Check my mail. Oh, my paradise planning photo, photo, even though I can't use it. <laughs> uh, oh, it's going to be so sad, but it's okay. It's actually going to be refreshing. We're going to think positive. All right, I'm just going to place that photo to remind me that I can't go see my friends. <laughs> All right, and then here um, I got my gift from Nintendo, I think. Uh, oh, it's a DIY workbench, which I can't do yet. I'm going to just collect sticks as I see them because, and my rock, because I'm going to need an axe. I'm going to need, let me talk to Pashmina. Oh, yeah. Oh, she gave me a recipe for my leaf umbrella. That, hi, buddy. I think he's going to give me a hat. Oh, please give me a cute hat. Oh, it's the denim cap. Oh, well. I was kind of hoping for a bucket hat because that's my favorite, but whatever. I'll wear my denim cap. So I'm going to create a pose that just says hi because um, you get you get Nook Miles for that. Perfect. Yep, so I got some Nook Miles for that. I think I got some Nook Miles for something else, too. Um, yeah. So Acorn Miles, just, just for joining the, the program, it looks like. And then I got some Island Togetherness for talking to my villagers. That's another 300. And then I got the bulletin board one is 300. So already I have, am a fifth of the way where I need to be. Okay, now let's go talk to Nook and get our DIY instruction. How about that? Um, about that workshop. Okay. Yes, I'd love to. Okay. All right, let's go to the workbench. Okay, let's craft it. Perfect. All right. Okay, he's giving me my DIY recipe section, which I have a few of now, so that's good. Um, once I get enough stuff, I can build um, some things and sell them and get some money from Timmy or Tommy, whoever's in here. Oh, okay, a candle and a barbecue. And then I will eventually need to buy a slingshot and maybe some flowers. Oh, he's got mums in here and Cosmos. Perfect. I won't make you watch every task, but I will tell you what I'm up to. That gave me 50 Nook Miles just to look in there. And, okay, so there's a few things. Oh, the eggplant cow. <laughs> all right, well, I don't have any bells to buy anything, so that's all good. All right, we're gonna head on out with my handy dandy fishing pole and I'm gonna go and shake some trees and pull some weeds here so um, I won't make you watch through that I'll be right back alright guys well I believe that Nook now has the most neatly manicured island possible at least on this little section that I can reach I've pulled all the weeds, so I am definitely a greedy weeder for sure. I'm going to go try to get that accomplishment as well as make myself a net. 
All right, buddy, let's sell you some stuff that I have in my pocket so far. I want to sell. Let's see what he gives me for all these things. I also picked up a few shells. All right, let's see what we get. Huh? Not bad. That'll enable me to buy a few things I need to buy. Here, I want to get this. I'll buy that. Okay. Let me just make sure. I don't think he sells... I don't think he sells... Yeah, he doesn't sell the swimsuit quite yet. And these I could get, but I might wait on them. The DIY for beginners. But maybe I'll get those too. Let me see. I want to get some white cosmos. Again get five of those if I can. Yep. I might need to go make some more bells to, but you will get some um, nook miles for planting flowers as well. So might as well do that. So let me plant some of these guys. We'll put the cosmos over here. Eventually I want to make a flower garden and actually try to get some, some flowers that are, um, you know, my own that and get some of the cool colors um, on my own because I've never really done that either. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to go around to all the trees and shake those. I won't make you sit through that. All right, guys, so I just went around and shook the trees. I haven't done all of them yet. I'm leaving this peach on the ground because I don't have any more room in my pockets, but. I was able to collect uh, all five bugs. You're supposed to give, oh, well, all five specimens, creatures, whatever. You're supposed to give him five creatures to nook, and then that will instigate blathers coming the next day. So I'm going to go in there and give him these creatures, and then um, I'm going to sell the extras that I got because there were quite a few of those as well. And then any ones that he doesn't take, I will put over where um, I plan on where I put the museum and I'll just stack them up. They'll not only count for items on the ground, but they'll also be there for me to um, give to Blathers tomorrow. So because he's going to want 15 of those. So I will be working on getting that. But right now I'm going to present him with these creatures. So you basically give him, you know, one at a time and he gives you some rewards for doing this. Okay. All right. So here he gives you the app to keep track of all your little creatures. So um, that's what that is loading. Yeah, so the Critterpedia. All right. Yeah, perfect. Okay, I gave him the second creature, and he's asking if I've taken, taken advantage of his DIY workshop area. And then he's going to send me some more DIYs right now that I can use. One's for the axe, I do believe. And that way I can get wood, too, because I'm going to need a lot of wood for Timmy and Tommy's shop. And um, that's going to be a grind. And also the rocks. Okay, hold on. I'm going to also give him some more. Okay, and he just gave me some red mum bags, which is awesome. And I will plant those as soon as I leave here. He gave that to me for my third creature. And then I'm going to give him another creature. All right, here's the fourth creature given, and he's going to send me a recipe for the watering can so that I can water those, and then I'm going to give him the fifth one in just a second. All right, I gave him the fifth creature, and now he's getting a phone call immediately after, and what timing. It is lathers. What a coincidence. Yeah. All right. Okay, so now he's just letting me know Blathers is headed over. So he's going to give me uh, the museum to go plant a plot for. 
So I will go do that here in just a minute too. So I've got some flowers to plant and a museum to place. He won't take any more creatures after that. The rest have to go to Blathers. So I do have this one extra brown cicada that I did not donate to him, but I can sell this wasp and I can sell this um, common blue bottle and some other things. But I want to make a few more um, things uh, and the DIY with my weeds and stuff um, to sell as well. So hold on just a sec. And I don't know if you guys know, but if you if you page over here, there's a favorites section. There's this craftable, which means if you see them in here, you're able to craft with what you have in your pockets. So what I'm gonna do is look up the hay bed, the leaf umbrella, and the campfire and see which ones are more valuable. <laughs> so hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, so I looked it up and the leaf umbrella is 15 clumps of weeds and it gets you 150 bells. The hay bed is 20 weeds and it gets you 400 bells. So that's actually well worth the extra five clumps of weeds. The tree branches required for campfires three and that only gives you 30 bells. So I'm going to concentrate on the hay beds right now and make me a few of those. So, um, yeah, we're going to make some hay beds. So I'll be right back. Okay, and I did look up how much is a clump of weeds, and it's 10 bells per clump of weeds. So basically, you are getting double by making the hay bed. So just FYI, I'm going to get my money back right now. Let's see how much I get for this. Um, I'm not going to sell the weeds because I'm going to keep making hay beds. But I am going to sell my wasp, another hay bed, my blue bottle, my peaches, another hay bed, and this bagworm. I'm not selling brown cicada because I still need to donate that. Pretty good. Not bad. Okay, because the other bugs I had were not worth much. Okay, I'm going to go make some more hay beds. All right, I finished making my hay beds. And I also got uh, Cynic Miles for DIY making. So um, right here, you get... Um, for making 10 DIYs, you get 300. And then I also have miles for doing, uh, for breaking a tool. <laughs> and um, then DIY furniture, because it counted for that as well. So that already got me to 2,000 miles. Oh, there was my flowers. So I got 300 for those. And then pick of the bunch. So fruit, selling fruit. So yeah, so, um, and let's see, I'm, I've got more first time buyer. So that's from shopping. And then I have, oh, seller of um, unwanted stuff. So perfect. Okay. Now I think I'm done. So that got me quite a ways in. I'm going to go ahead and sell these items. See what I can, um, get back from, from those. Yeah, 2,400 bones. Nice. Okay, so I'm up to 10,000. That's great. Um, okay, so now I'm going to head on out. I'm going to try to do a lot more fishing. I'm going to um, get as many uh, fish as I can. I'd like to build up at least 15 bugs and fish, you know, just to... Uh, get enough of the museum and then I will go to day two yeah for okay I caught 20 bugs so that brings me to 3550 um, and then there's the ones that I've put into Critterpedia so it's giving me credit for that I trashed a tool and I think um, I took my first picture so I did that. I'm almost to where I need to be. Uh, I put enough items on the ground to count for this one. I think you have to do 10. Ooh, wait, do I, have I done it? I did, you guys. Okay, I got to my, my 5,000. I'm gonna go pay Nook right now so I can have a house tomorrow and some storage. Yeah, so that'll that'll probably end this day on the video. And then uh, tomorrow I'll pick up with day two with you guys. And we'll see what happens then. About my moving fees. 
Ready to pay. All right. Let's get me a house. It's fine, I guess. Yeah, then he's going to give me the sticker shock of my first bill. Ugh. I think it's like 98,000 bells. That's going to be that's going to be a hammer to the head. Oh, and actually I was thinking I got 3 balloons and one of them had 10,000 bells in it, which was a great balloon for the beginning. So, I was elated about that. So, I actually have some dough in my pockets. So, yes, let's do it. Okay. I think I'm going to pick, my theme is yellow right now, so let's go with a yellow roof. All right, well that is going to end day one, and we are going to move into day two. Thanks for watching this part of the video, I really appreciate it. If I could wave or say goodbye at the end of this day, I would, but I have no emotes, so... Um, I had to voice over this part because um, I had a little noise going on in the background. But anyways, um, uh, this is the first time I've done a normcore type day by day, um, you know, montage, if you will. So hopefully that you, you guys enjoy this. And um, if you haven't given it a like, or subscribe to the channel yet, I would really appreciate that. But if you hang tight, we're gonna move on into day two. That should start up soon. I'm gonna give you a little tip here in the beginning about uh, backing up your save data, which will um, enable your uh, your switch to back up every day for you. You don't have to go do it every day. You just have to do it once and it'll keep doing it until you uh, delete this island. So anyways, on to day two. Thanks again, guys, and I will be right here for the next part. All right, see you in a minute. Hi, guys. Hey, um, before I start, I just wanted to bring this to you guys' attention. So on this first loading screen, see on the bottom left it says settings and then it says backups not set. Um, the second time you load into your game, make sure you press that minus button here and then it's going to go to where Nook is here um, and he is going to basically save your data. Um, so he warned, you know, not to let par uh, kids do this, but this is where you can move to a new island, like if you have another switch. You might be tempted to do save data, but you want to do island backup, which is how your island gets backed up every day. And um, you do have to have online service for this. Um, then you click enable island backup and it will back up your island. So if something ever happens to your switch or there's a problem, it'll still save your stuff. You can retrieve it. So anyway, he tells you all of that. So then you just tell him you do want to do it and it'll back you up and then every time every day it'll enable that so just want to plug that in let you know <laughs> all right this is his first little announcement out here on the dirt and he's gonna just um, talk about the museum or the airports open yeah and what it offers. And then also that Blathers has moved in his museum. So we'll see his little tent today. All right, and this is day two on Acorn. So I'm going to check my mail really quick. I'm hoping there's some good things in there. And you see I have a little house now. Um, Mom always sends you her first thing is um, your sister fruit, so we'll see what that is. I ordered that song, and then I was able to get enough mileage yesterday to um, upgrade my pockets. I was able to get the little tool circle, and I was able to um, order a swimming suit, so... Those are going to be detrimental to this um, this progress. So let's see what mom said. Oh, okay. So cherries is my is my uh, 
sister fruit and then I ordered a song because yesterday I got a jukebox and I got to put at least one song in there. There's my wetsuit. So we'll go do that soon. And then I got a wooden low table, which I think is always the first um, DIY that the HHP or not HHP, but um, you know, the happy home interiors or whatever sends you. So for upgrading your house. So Anyway, today's goal is going to be to donate everything to uh, Blathers, and then I want to um, get enough iron to contribute to get Nook's Cranny built, because I believe once when I walk in there, they're going to be discussing that. So first of all, I'm going to go in and see that. Yeah, so once I talk to uh, Timmy, he's going to mention that to me. Right now he's talking about the uh, house that he built and that it has some storage. Happy Home Academy is going to be reviewing it and all that stuff. And then um, he's also going to tell me how much I owe. <laughs> so, anyways... So that I'll try to pay off today too because I would, and I got a Nick Miles ticket, which is great. That's going to be sitting over there waiting and I'm actually probably going to have to go there anyway to, um, to get some iron because I really doubt my rocks that I find today are going to have it. I also want to go to Blathers because he will give me my, uh, shovel and my vaulting pole. So, um, there's that. All right. Um... What should I do? Okay. Yeah, he's just telling me to talk to Timmy. Okay, so we'll talk to Timmy. And he's going to want a ton of wood and iron and all that jazz. So, um, yeah, he's telling me what he needs, the building materials. So, it's quite a bit. It's like 30 of each, yeah. So I already have the wood. I got that yesterday. The wood's actually pretty easy to get um, if you get enough, uh, you know, if you just make enough axes that day. I'm going to check my nook stop, see what I have, and also get my bonus miles for logging in and um, see what's being offered here. I'd like to get the pretty good tools next, I think. Um, that's pretty much it. So we'll go out of there. I'm going to see what's for sale, and then we'll head on out and go talk to Blathers. Um, and hopefully we can get a little... Oh, there's a little soulful KK. I don't have enough money right now for anything, though. So I'm not going to make any purchases quite yet. I did make some deposits in the ABD. So, um, I think I have like 40,000 bells in there. So we'll go, um, see what's happening over here. But, um, no visitors on the dirt yet. And, uh, oh, hey. Hi, Hamlet. Oh, yay. Oh, yeah, he's giving me some iron. I think this is like five iron nuggets. That's great. Perfect. Thanks, Hammy. I'm just chatting with him. Haven't had the chat yet today. Want to see what else he had to say. So over here I have 14. So he gave me 5. So that now gives me 19. Wow, that really, that drops it down pretty good. I got uh, one balloon yesterday that had some iron in it. And, or maybe two actually. I can't remember, but it was actually, I did pretty good on my balloons yesterday. I had one that had 5,000 bells, one had 10,000. Um, let me put some of these creatures in my pocket. Yeah, there's bladders. I like the music in this tent, and someone pointed out the other day that you only get to hear it right now while the tent is there, and that's it. So, we're going to submit all these bugs. I'm not, and fish. I'm not going to make you sit through this, but just know 
Um, yeah, here's where he's telling you, hey, you need to go get some fossils. And of course, here's the vaulting pole. So you can go do that. And then he's also sending me a shovel um, DIY, or at least he will. Oh, yeah, there he goes. Yeah, I got the shovel too. Yeah. So, anyways, I will start donating to him. And then I will be back when we're all done. Huh? Yeah, I think she's going to give me my shovel. Perfect. Bear, oh, of course it's the money one, the first one I find. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining, I need bells, but I really needed iron much more than that. Whoops. Okay, well, I only got two iron out of that one. That's a bummer. I really needed these to be a little more giving today. <laughs> only one, two, ugh, only two iron. That is not going to get us to gold. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to have to make a vaulting pole. All right. How much softwood do I have? Only three. Oh, what a bummer. Okay. Well, guess who's going to be going and hitting some trees and catching some bees. So let me go do that. I'll be back. All right. And as painful as it is, I found... Um, my hole here <laughs> so I'm going to bury 10,000 bells all right well I just got my vaulting pole made and I decided I'm gonna go real quick before I go across I'm going to um, bury some of these cherries so that I can get some money from the cherries once they start to grow because um, they take like two or three days. I can't remember the amount of time, but um, yeah, you get, um, I think, double the amount for your non-native fruit. I can't remember. I think it's like 500 per or something like that. Anyways, let's, uh, let's skip across here and see if we can find some other rock. All right, let's see. Come on, iron. Come on, iron. No, iron. Yes. Come on, iron. Iron, iron, iron. Ugh, no. It's only one iron. They're gonna force me to go to a Nook Miles island. You know it, right? All right, let me collect some of these shells and then I'm gonna go sell some stuff and then we're gonna go clear out our um, pockets and we're gonna go to the Nook Island and see Nook Miles Island and see if we can get us a little bit of, let me see how much space I have left. Ooh, ooh. All right, I might have to throw something down. Let's see, uh, depends. They're duplicates or not. Nope, uh, let's just drop it. All right. Yeah, drop it, drop it. All right, let me finish this, and then we'll go do that stuff. Okay, well, we're going to go do our first Nook Island. I have emptied my pockets pretty much. I'm trying to think. I could probably take out my slingshot, my watering can, and my swimming suit. So that will give me a few extra slots. So let me just drop those here. And then that way, I just have a little bit more room. I'm going to deplete the island of everything that I can. Um, yeah. And I can get what I need there to make another flimsy axe if I need to or whatnot. But I might do a little fishing, might catch a bug if I see one. But otherwise, let's see where we what we get. All right, I'm on my first island here. And it looks like I get to see what villager they might have. <gasps> Are you guys seeing what the frick I'm seeing? Oh my gosh. You guys, is this not the cutest little villager you could ever imagine? And on my one ticket that I had, <gasps> this is so lucky. Okay, Maple, you are coming to you are coming to Acorn, girlfriend. Oh, she is adorable. 
Oh, yes, move to my island. <gasps> Yay! You'll love it there. I'm so excited, you guys. I was thinking I would get some who knows what over here. Oh, yay. We get a maple. And they've got mums. So I'm going to dig up all these things I can. I'm going to shake the trees. I'm going to try to get as much iron as I can. All right, guys. So this is what I got on the island. So I just basically got everything that I could, aside from my terrible rock hitting skills. And I'm going to take back a few of these mums, see if they can make some babies. Um, I want to get some hybrids on my own. I would love to do that during this 30 days if I could. So, anyways, I'm going to fly back. I'll see you in a minute. All right, I got all my stuff for Tommy or Timmy. Who are you? Timmy. All right, about building a shop. I'd like to donate. Yep, I brought it all. Don't be shocked. I work hard, man. I worked, I slaved for this. <laughs> oh. I always am for, I always forget that they give you little goodies like that at the end of this. All right, we gotta go place the shop. I'm probably gonna put it to the right of this tent. So let me see if I have a good spot over there. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna place it right here. And when Abel sisters come, I'll probably build them nearby too. Cause we'll have a little town center here. Perfect, yay. So that should be in tomorrow. And then um, now I have to go rummage the rest of the island for all the rest of the wood and weeds and everything else that I can reach. So I'm gonna go do that and then we'll fast forward to the next day because I forgot I had to do that. All right, this concludes day three. Um, I still don't have any reactions yet. I mean, day two, did I say day three? Day two. <laughs> Um, I still have to go across and do all the weeding and all that. I just put some stuff away, made some axes. I'm going to go pull weeds. I'm going to go collect all my fruit across the way. I'm going to collect uh, all the rest of the wood in the island that I can reach. And then I'm going to go tra uh, time travel to day three. So um, I will see you in day three. Okay, we're starting day three on the island. Okay, so that just means that there will be no museum today. It's going to be shut down for renovations. And they open their new shop today! Woo -woo. So that's awesome. And now a lot of the items that I get will be in the catalogs. So if you want to reorder it, it's there. And yeah. And then now he's going to get interrupted. <laughs> Hopefully that's Maple calling, telling him that she's interested um, and wants a house because, you know, we already spoke with Maple and now she needs a house, so. <laughs> oh, yay, I just found Pashmina walking, or she found me. And I'm finally getting some reactions, yes. Yes, I can finally say goodbye to you guys. <laughs> I'm just going to chat with her, see how she's doing. Yeah. Okay, very good. All right. Oh, I made wishes last night. Look at me. Um, I wasn't sure if I could make wishes yet if I hadn't seen Celeste. 
to give me, you know, like instructions and stuff, but um, she wasn't on the island that I could find. And I um, ended up making a lot of wishes last night because we had quite a few shooting stars. So yay, I'm picking up all my stars today. And I'm gonna collect all the seashells out here. I planted some uh, palm trees last night as well. So those look like they all took hold and are growing. Um, yeah, let me collect my mail. We'll see what's in there. Uh, Daisy May, okay. I may have to resort to using you, Daisy May, to get some money, but we'll see. I've never really played the stock market, per se. But um, let's see what gift I got from Happy Home Academy. Let's see. Whoops. Let's go in there and just check and see what they got me. Ah, uh, vacuum cleaner. Okay. And I think it's always a vacuum cleaner. I'm pretty sure. Vesta. Okay. What did she give me? Oh, a natural garden table. Okay. That's a good one. I like the natural garden um, furniture. That one's good. I do need to go make a fishing pole. Mine died last night. Uh, I also went um, swimming last night and I got um, a ton of donations. Shoot, I scared it. A ton of donations to put in the museum, but they're just sitting over there until, you know, Blathers gets opened up here. This is just going to be have to be a thousand dollar bells because, um, as you can see in my pocket, I nearly have four thousand and I don't want to give all that up right this way, but I do have a, another uh, 10,000 one growing on the other side, so, you know, um, that's not bad. My goal for today is to talk to Tom Nook build all these things that he wants me to build and see if we can get the uh, the villagers um, slated to move in. I'm going to try to buy a couple of Nook Mile tickets if I have enough Nook Miles and see if I can pick my own villagers, but if not, uh, they will have to autofill because I really can only afford maybe one or two. Well, I can afford two, I think. The rest I need to kind of wait on, so, um, yeah. But anyway, got me a couple of bugs on the way in because I'm going to go try to get some cash. And I got to do my rocks. I got to get my fossils. I got to go check out the store. It's a busy day. It's a busy day here on the island. <laughs> so day three is a busy, busy day. Um, yeah, so let's go talk to Tom. First things first, because he's going to probably get interrupted by a phone call in here and tell me that he needs me to do a whole crap ton of work, which is, you know, what I live for. I live for that. Okay, he's pulling me over because my house is bigger today, too, because um, I did pay that loan last night, which is great, but now this one's going to take me a lot longer. Yeah, see, here's his phone call. He's interrupted. Mm -hmm. So we're, he's going to want us to do three separate plots and a bridge, the bridge to begin. So that's why I've been um, collecting all these supplies, because I know I'm going to have to make a majority of things that go in here. Yeah, so um, here's where he's enlightened to the fact that I'm his slave driver. He's a slave driver and I'm his slave, so yeah. Yeah, of course, of course. I have nothing but time, Nook. Nothing but time. Okay, I'm ready, so let's just rip the band-aid off. <laughs> yeah, we need a bridge. Okay, okay. Perfect. So, um, he's going to give me the DIY for the bridge. I'm going to go to the store, sell what's in my pockets, get some supplies, and I'm going to make me a bridge. Um, let me check the recycle. Nothing there. And let me check this, see if there's anything going on in this little number today. Yeah, so I've got 7,500 miles. 
Um, I only need to get two more villagers because I already got maple. Uh, let's just see if there's anything good in here. KK Love Song. Mm. Um, it's quite steep for you, KK Love Song. I might pass on that for now. And let's see if anything got added to the Nook Mile section. Um, particularly, I really need the pretty good tools. Uh, let's see if I do that, and then I have 4,000 left to buy two Nook Mile tickets. Yeah, let me do that right now since I'm here. So I'll buy two of these. And then I will buy... Um, the pretty good tools so that I can not be breaking tools every five minutes because uh, that is a problem when you're playing this way. So there's my two Nook Mile tickets. I have just enough left with a little left over to get my pretty good tools recipes. So let's do that. And that'll give me an axe too. So if I ever want to cut down a tree or something like that, so, pretty good tools recipes, yes. Normally I don't have to get this because I go to my no-no islands and I get gold stuff, but I'm on my own for 30 days. So I have to, um, I have to be making some tools. And I just know my uh, shovel is going to bust here pretty soon. So that was a necessity. But okay, we got those. And I'm going to head over to the Nook Twins new store, see what they have for sale. I don't have a ton of money to buy anything right now, but I can see what they have. And if it's anything worth coming back for, I will. Oh, I forgot Mabel's here. Oh, goody. One of my rules is that I have to change my outfit every day once I, um, once Mabel comes in and puts her Abel sisters in, or once she starts coming. So, uh, I will have to be doing that eventually. <laughs> I thought it was so funny, uh, Melissa Verse did that on her 14 day normal core island challenge. And um, every single day she had to go in and pick out an outfit for the day. And she was required to have a hat, a shirt, pants, or a whole body outfit. And then I think shoes or whatnot. And so she would go in and buy something every day. And it was just a crack up. <laughs> Bye, Mabel. Bye, Mabel. Okay. All right. Well... Now, I really like this little moss ball. It's cute. So I'm going to um, probably get this for sure. And then um, I'm not a huge fan of the velvet stool or the tiger or that. Um, let me see what's in the cabinet. Um, let's see. The umbrella is cute. Wrapping paper. I've got some of these that I could do. Um... I'm going to wait to buy those DIYs because Nook's going to give me a bunch and uh, when I do the plots and I don't want to get mixed up with what I already have with what he gives me because I like to put them in my favorites to make it easier. So um, I got DIY uh, Nook Miles for something. I'm going to see what those are. Uh, let's see. I'm on the same IRL day playing by the way right now. I've just been kind of playing as much as I can. I have to work tomorrow and um, in my IRL job. <laughs> and um, so I won't have a ton of time to play tomorrow, so I gotta get done as much as I could today. So this will be a longer video, but I'll try to cut it where I can. I'm just taking a look around the island. Okay, so we've talked to the nooks. We have uh, I'm going to have to collect some wood today and everything else, but right now the job is to get a bridge made and I have to go get some supplies out of my house. So let's see what this bridge needs. I need clay stone and four log stakes, which is the wood. So I got all of that. Let's do it. 
Okay, so we're gonna head out now. I made the bridge. I made myself a fishing pole. We're gonna see if we can find a location for this bridge. I wanna look at the map really quick and see what would be the best piece of land to access. Uh, oh, probably to the right, eh? Yeah. I'm gonna see if I can put one down by the ocean because I tend to walk along the coastline a lot. Let's see, let's build this bridge here. Yep. This is a spot. Cool. All right, got the bridge placed. So now we'll go back up and talk to Nook again. All right, so he's pulling me over. All right, yep. Yep, I did, I did, I set it up. Perfect. Yep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it right now, buddy. You pulled me over. Okay. Yep, three housing kits. Perfect. Alright, let's go put those down. And then I'm going to go villager hunt um, prior to filling those. Here's where he's going to give me my DIYs for these houses. And I'm going to favorite each and every DIY that he just did. Because uh, everything new... Oh, and there's my ladder. Yes. So I'm going to need all these things uh, for the houses. So I'm going to press X and favorite all of these. Oh, yay. Gave me the barrel, the swinging. All these are great recipes. Sometimes I don't get the best ones. Nice. Okay. And then there's probably a few down below here that he's going to want um, that are part of it, but I already have. So but those I'll have to figure out later. So anyways, I've got those in my favorites to make. Now what I'm gonna do is go place the plots and then I'm going to, before I fill them, I'm going to go just do my two little villager hunt. I really hope I get some good villagers on these two tickets. Otherwise, uh, sadness, pure sadness. Um, okay, so let's put one over here because this seems like a nice little spot for a villager. Plot one. Yes, this is the spot. Perfect. All right. That's really what size the house will be, but um, you know, now he's always got to call you. <laughs> and he's just telling me that um, to check that box. The box on the front tells you what you need for each place. I'm gonna put stuff inside and outside. So, yeah, there we go. Okay, this is a spot for number two. Perfect. All right, and then I'm gonna put the third one down here. Here's where he's gonna tell me I gotta climb the cliff to get the flowers, because number two always has the flowers for the wreath. So, he's just letting you know you gotta do that. Plot three, this is the spot. Perfect. Nice. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna go do a little villager hunt, a little baby one. We'll see, I'm just gonna do the two. If they're not acceptable villagers, like just let's say I get Rocket, because you know, I'm sorry Rocket, but no. Uh, between the costume and the fact that you are a big gorilla. I'm not taking rocket. Anyways, I'm gonna go um, do that. If I if they're not acceptable, then I will risk having an autofill of rocket. But all right, I'm here, you guys. I'm a little nervous because I can't possibly do as well as I did the last time. <laughs> so I'm worried. You know, Nintendo gods giving me rocket. <gasps> oh my gosh, Tangy! Oh. Okay, this could not go better for me right now. I will take you, sister. Oh, she is so cute. I wish she had a nose. That's really the only thing that bothers me about her. But I've got Tangy, you guys. That is amazing. Ah, what luck, huh? She's so cute. One of the cutest peppies. All right, well, I'm gonna strip this island. Uh, that makes me so happy. I've only got one more to go, so either I have a terrible villager or 
you know, I get lucky again. We'll see, but I will come back when I get to that point. All right. All right, guys. Well, this is what I collected here. All right, guys. I'm on the second island. I went and I emptied out everything, sold what I could, made about 5,600 bells, and then um, put some stuff in my house. And now we're going to see who the next one is, see what kind of luck I have again. Oh, it's a chicken. Who is this? Benedict or something? I'm not sure. I don't think I want to take the chicken. Let me see what his name is. I think it's... Yep, it's Benedict. Okay. Yeah, he is not my my desire. Not one that I like. And the rules are I need to take people I like. So, I will hope that the Nintendo gods give me a good autofill. So, um, I'm going to collect from this island and then head on back. I will be doing a lot more collecting on the other island. That's pretty much the rest of today. And so I'm probably gonna end it here. Um, actually, I'll come back when I find out who my other villager is. I'm gonna go do all the houses really quick. Um, I don't know if you have a desire to watch me do all of that, so I'm just gonna skip over it, but it's just a lot of DIYing and putting stuff inside the houses and outside the houses, so. But I will show you uh, who the autofill is on the last one. Okay, I just got back and I have these um, things that I got from the island. So I just thought I would show you all that. Um, and I'm going to go put some stuff up that I need to donate. I'm going to sell a few things, put some stuff in storage, go finish those houses. And then I will come back and show you who my little um, autofill is. So I'll be right back. All right. So I got everything finished. All right. So he says he will get it done quickly, that he's going to post the person that's in there and all that kind of stuff. So... And this is when you get a little bit of fencing because he wants you to use some fencing. You have to do that in order to get three stars too is put down some fencing, I think. Um, maybe you can earn enough points without doing the fencing, but I do know it's a big contributor. So anyways, um, yeah. I'm gonna head out and go see which villager he put in that one plot. I'm a little nervous. Uh, the gods have been good to me. <laughs> the last two villagers, I got Maple and Tangy. Um, Benedict came to that one, but you know. So let's see. Number one should be. Mm. Oh my gosh. That is my autofill. Al. The big giant gorilla. Yep. The N Nintendo gods have a very big sense of humor, and they've decided that everything needs to be even Stevens. So, <laughs> there's Tingy, and over here should be Maple. Uh, all right, well, two out of three ain't bad, guys. Uh, I'll take it. So... Thank you for watching. This was a long one. Um, I'm going to try to cut it down a little bit, but it's going to be a longer one. And then the next video should be shorter. So I appreciate you hanging in there. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Um, give me a nice comment if you can. And subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you in the family. We'll call you a little jaywalker, I guess. Um, and uh, yeah, I really appreciate you guys. Oh, wait, I have a reaction. I can say goodbye. Bye. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.